Simon Fraser's men's soccer team was in attendance on Thursday night as the SFU men's basketball played host to the MSU Billings Yellow Jackets. This game marks the first of two on their final homestand of the season. After a slow start for the clan, they finally get on the board with a pretty feed by Connor Lewis to Sturgeon for the lay-in. Sturgeon finished the game with 20 points and 9 boards. But at the other end, this game belonged to Yellow Jackets number 25, Jackson Mayer, going 9 for 13 in the game from beyond the arc and finishing with a game-high 33. The clan kept pushing with a drive from Sturgeon, leading to an impressive three-point play. The clan go into the dressing room at half, down by only one. MSU Billings comes out strong with an early basket from number 32, Taylor Stephen. But Simon Fraser's veteran, Justin Brown, hits the pull-up jumper to keep the game within reach. This feeling was short-lived, however, as the Yellow Jackets make it rain from downtown by none other than their star from afar, Jackson Mayer. SFU doesn't give up as Lewis drives hard to the net for the basket and the foul, three of his 12 on the night. But MSU Billings was just too much for the clan as they get the three-pointers to fall to extend the lead to 20. The Yellow Jackets won an impressive 56% from beyond the arc compared to the clan shooting a mere 22. SFU was outscored 55-36 to in the second half and fell to a final score of 94-74. to The clan will be in action on Saturday night, capping their last home game of the season against Seattle Pacific University Falcons. I caught up with Coach Blake and Bantock after the game to get their thoughts on the loss as well as their final homestand. Uh, you know what, the first half I thought we played pretty well as a team. We, uh, uh, we moved the ball around and we were pretty unselfish. Um, we, sticked, we stuck the scout defensively. And kind of in the second half, you know, they've got 10 guys that they, they run at you and wore us down a little bit, us, got, us, got us out of the scout. But, uh, and then the second half just didn't make shots. You're not going to win any ball games. And then gave out 56 points on top of it. So every, every missed shot they ran and, 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 you know, converted off of it. So good first half, not a very good second half, but, you know, that's kind of been the nature of the last four games. You know, we've got three seniors and three really good seniors. And, uh, you know, they've been the uh, guys that, that push us through this year and made us the team that we are. And uh, they're also the pillars of, uh, you know, the NC2A. Uh, we're in our second year of, of trying to get in the NC2A. We've got one more. And uh, any of those guys that graduate and move on, use up their eligibility, they're, they're, they're the base of it. You know, so, again, they're the pillars. And, and uh, again, we just really appreciate to have them here and, and be part of this transition. And, and uh, again, we've got three really good seniors. That's going to be fun to, to play on Saturday night. I just look at it as another game, but I guess we should have a lot more energy than we have. It's the last game. Like, we don't have to play for, you know, we get a couple weeks off. Everyone should be, like, 100% ready to go. 